Hello friends, welcome to the session. I am Alka. Let's discuss the given question. If 1, 2, 4, 5, x, 6 and 3, 5 are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order, find x and y. Now before starting with the solution, I would like to tell you the basic idea behind the question. Let there are two points A and B. The coordinates of A are x1, y1 and that of B are x2, y2. So, let P be the midpoint of the line joining A and B. So, the coordinates of the midpoint of line joining the two points is given by x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. According to the question, here is the figure of a parallelogram ABCD. The coordinates of A as 1, 2, B as 4 and Y, C as X and 6, D as 3 and 5. Now, this is the figure according to the question with A, B, C, D as a parallelogram. And the coordinates of A are 1, 2, B as 4, Y, C, X, 6, D, 3, 5. Now, we all know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So, let's discuss the question further. Let A, B, C, D be a parallelogram whose vertices are a with coordinates 1, 2, B with coordinates 4 and Y, C with coordinates X and 6 and D with coordinates 3 and 5. Now, since we know that the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other, therefore, we can say that coordinates of the midpoint of AC equal to coordinates of the midpoint of BD. So, this can be written as 1 plus x, that is 1 plus x upon 2 and 2 plus 6 upon 2. These are the coordinates of the midpoint of AC and similarly we will write the coordinates of the midpoint of BD, that is x1 plus x2 upon 2, that is 4 plus 3 upon 2 and 5 plus y upon 2. This implies 1 plus x upon 2 and 8 upon 2 is 4 equal to 7 upon 2 and 5 plus y upon 2. Now, we will compare the corresponding paths on comparing corresponding paths. We get one plus x upon two equal to 7 upon 2. Here we see that 2 to cancel out and this implies 1 plus x equal to 7. This implies x equal to 7 minus 1. Therefore, x equal to 6. And now on comparing the coordinates of y, that is 4 equal to 
5 plus y upon 2. So this implies 5 plus y equal to 8. This implies y equal to 3. Therefore we can say that x equal to 6 and y equal to 3 is the required answer. So, hope you understood the solution and enjoyed the session. Goodbye and take care.